All right, everyone, bear with me while it's a little dark in here. We'll get to the reason why. So this is for anyone who has, who is currently driving a Freightliner Cascadia, one of the models, uh, usually years between 2012 and 2016. I think 2016 is the last year that they put the switches in the sleeper the way they did. I'll get to that in a minute, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, this is a common defect. All right, I had one of our drivers at our terminal go through this about a month ago, and he sees he said that he went to like three different dealers. They couldn't figure out what it was. The shop couldn't figure out what it was, and they were all freaking out. Well, this I've had a couple Cascadias over the years, and it took me a couple years to actually figure out what caused this. It wasn't until about a week ago that I found out what actually causes it. So here's a scenario. You're going down the highway, okay? Your interior light comes on automatically by itself. The two sleeper lights in the top bunk come on all by themselves. On top of that, while you're going down the highway, your switches, those green lit up switches, are all flickering on and off. The lights are flickering on and off. You'll get a check engine light. You'll notice your engine brake goes on and goes off, the engine brake light. And you won't have an engine brake when that happens. Okay? So basically, you're having an electrical issue. Well, I had originally narrowed it down in my previous company to the switches in the sleeper. I thought that by putting LED lights in the sleeper, it was interfering with the wattage in the electrical system and causing it to go haywire through the computer. That wasn't the case. Uh, what it actually is, is your AC. So, I replaced the switches in this truck about a month ago because it was doing the whole electrical going haywire shit. Well, it was fine. Up until about a week ago, it started doing this. Lights flickering, interior light comes on while I'm driving, all by itself. So a week ago, I found out what actually causes it. So if you're having this issue, this is what causes it, and this is how you're going to fix it. Two 2012-2016, they may have done this in... I don't think 2017 they put these switches in here. In these models, you've got your sleeper switch. Can't really see it too well. But that's your switches for your sleeper. They're mounted right here, okay, in that cubby hole. You see the two plugs that I've unplugged? I've unplugged them out of the back. The gray plug you see is for your speakers, for your sleeper. But right here, these plugs plug one into this side and one into this side. And they're just tiny little plugs, okay? But they control your lights. Your dashboard up front has got the same switch set up. Now, the defect with this with the Freightliner Cascadia is these switches are mounted right below the AC vent. Well now what happens, and most of it's dry, well, I don't know, I guess you can, I can't see it on camera, but, yeah, you can't see it. I guess you could kind of faintly see the water. So basically what's happening, because I've been sitting here for a 30 minute break, it's drying, is while you're running your AC, while you're driving down the highway and your AC is on in the sleeper, this AC vent creates condensation and water buildup. And what, it'll, what it does is it will roll down the face right here. It'll also come down the back. I mean, it's actually wet in here. I can feel it. But it'll come down... You can see the water right there. Okay. That water will drip down into these switches and cause it to go haywire. 
Now you'll notice that my interior lights aren't flickering anymore. Okay, but that's because I've unplugged it and I've let it dry. So to prevent this from happening in the future, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and plug these in. Do this on a dry day when it's not wet, not right after it started shorting out. On a dry day, plug these in and get you some RTV. It comes in black, it comes in gray, red. Um, basically what it is, is silicone. Okay, and you can use bathroom silicone for like your tub. Do the same thing. Clear, white, it doesn't make a difference. Plug your plugs in and spray a bead of that RTV or that silicone around the plug. Seal it in there. Just coat the back of that switch assembly with that RTV. That will prevent water from getting down in your switches and it ever shorten out again. But that's what the problem is when your lights start flickering, you lose your engine brake, and you start having an electrical issue. I've had so many drivers go to dealers and the dealers say, we can't find nothing wrong. That's because when the dealer actually takes the truck in from the time it's been sitting in the parking lot, everything's dry. There is no shorting out. The lights don't flicker. There's no water on the switch. It's all dry. And there's nothing in the computer system. You try to plug it in a computer system, there's no trouble code because it only does it when it's wet. So it's not like it leaves a footprint on the ECU. So if you're having that problem, that's what causes it. And that's how to fix it. And I hope this helped you guys if you have a Freightliner Cascadia. Um, and that's it. Enjoy.